In this video, I would like to show you an indicator called Bollinger Bands and Width Ratio Indicator. So, Bollinger Bands and Width Ratio Indicator is used to identify the Bollinger Band squeezes. That means, uh, you know, whenever the Bollinger Bands uh, squeeze, that means, uh, you know, uh, there is a less volatility for the currency pair and normally that currency pair goes in a range market and uh, the, the Bollinger Bands and width, width Ratio Indicator is used to find when the Bollinger Bands squeezes. Bollinger Bands Indicator consists of an upper band, a lower band and a middle band. When the price volatility increases, the bands widen. When the price volatility decreases, the bands squeeze. This is the normal behavior of a Bollinger Bands. The Bollinger Bands and Width Ratio Indicator shows exactly the same whether there is a high volatility or a less volatility. Bollinger Bands and Width Ratio Indicator is an oscillator that comes below the actual chart. The lowest value of this oscillator is 0 even though the oscillator won't really touch the zero line as the width ratio is the difference between the upper and lower bands and they never touch each other okay so this is the bollinger bands indicator and this indicator that is showing below the actual price chart is the bollinger bands and width ratio indicator so, how to interpret the Bollinger Bands and Width Ratio indi in, uh, Indicator? When the volatility is uh, decreasing, the Bollinger Bands squeezing, start, the start squeezing. The Width Ratio Oscillator starts decreasing and tries to reach zero. So, if you see uh, this one, the Bollinger Bands, you know, uh, they start moving closer to each other, the upper band and lower band. Uh, that means the Bollinger Bands starts squeezing and the Bollinger Bands Width Ratio Indicator shows the same. That means it starts decreasing from a highest value. When there is no volatility, the Bollinger Bands squeeze and the Width Ratio Indicator will be at its lowest value. If you see this one, the Bollinger Bands squeezed here and you can see that the Bollinger Bands and Width Ratio Indicator is at its lowest value. And moreover, this value won't be zero, even though the lowest value is zero, it, uh, the Bollinger Bands and Width Ratio Indicator never become zero because this, is, this, uh, this value is nothing but this is the difference between the upper band and lower band and the upper band and the lower band they never touch each other that's why this value the Bollinger Bands and Width Ratio Indicator value it never becomes zero when the volatility is increasing uh, the Bollinger Bands widen and the Width Ratio Indicator starts increasing and tries to reach uh, peak if you see this one, the Bollinger Bands start widening at this point and the Bollinger Bands and Width Ratio Indicator starts increasing at this point and it reaches some peak value. So, this is how you know the Bollinger Bands and Width Ratio Indicator normally works. Trading with Bollinger Bands and Width Ratio Indicator. When the Bollinger Bands and Width Ratio Indicator reaches top compared to history, and starts decreasing that means the current trend has ended so the prices may start going in range bound market or the trend may reverse if you see at this point the uh, Bollinger Bands and Width Ratio indicator has reached some peak point at this point so some peak value at this point and it started decreasing so that means the trend the current trend will end at this point and the prices may go in a range bound market or the trend may reverse so at this point if you see the price is going in a range bound market at this point when the indicator is staying at its low uh, near zero when the indicator is staying at a slow near zero, always go for range uh, range trading until the price breaks the range market. 
see at this point the indicator is at its lowest point so that means uh, when the indicator is staying near zero for some time always go for a range trading see at this point it is always in a range market so you have to go in a range trading at this point after reaching low near zero when the indicator starts rising that means the bollinger band squeeze has been broken and enter in the direction of break if you see at this point uh, the indicator the bollinger bands and width ratio indicator starts increasing and at the same point the bollinger bands also broken at this point and you have to enter trading in the in the direction of breakout that means you have to enter a sell trade at this point so this is how the Bollinger Bands and Width Ratio Indicator can be used in Forex trading. Thank you.